Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's live stream. It's me, it's your boy, it's Nick. How is everybody doing today? I see we have a lot of people in the chat. Uh, Silver Fox, thank you for moderating as always. Gaming Hyena, Noir, Andy, of course. Lazy Otter, I love your zoos. Sheltered Wood Studios, you're new. Uh, Vicky, a uh, longtime Lion Rider member. Uh... Who else do we got? Tom, Samuel Games, uh, Carson, AVL91. <laughs> uh, super forgettable. Thank you all for being here today. So today we are going to be working on the... Where, where's my... Where is it? Hold on. Give me a quick sec. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here it is. Tree Kangaroo. We're working on the Tree Kangaroo mod. So... Uh, this is a bit outdated now, so the tree kangaroo that you're seeing currently is not really what it looks like anymore. If we load up Planet Zoo, I can show you the new and improved version. But, thank you, Julie. Appreciate it. Love you. Uh, we are going to be working on making this a brand new species. So, uh, we're going to kind of compare and contrast some of the uh, little changes that I made to the tree kangaroo to make it ever so slightly better for you guys before we actually do the um, the actual tedious part, which is all the programming required to do make this into a new animal. But I, I, I already took care of the kind of tedious stuff. So this is the new and improved version. So I increased the texture quality on the fur. So if you look, the fur is a lot uh, less, um, I guess, I don't know, uh, blurry. There's, there's a little more definition to the fur colorization now. Um, similarly, uh, you probably can't see it in the tall grass. Let me just quickly try to uh, do this. So, uh, you can't see it with its tail. It, its tail will clip still. That's just something I can't really prevent. But, if I can try to showcase it a little bit. The tail is a lot uh, less pointy now. It's a lot more round. Um, and so it, it, it looks a lot better. I'll, I'll say that. Uh, similarly, I fixed it up so that the baby will actually come out of the pouch correctly. And so uh, that looks really good. So uh, this is going to be the... Oh, God. What type of kangaroo is it? The, the, mat, the match... What is it called? Uh, the mat cheese mat cheese tree kangaroo so it's the one that's very common in zoos um it basically is just brown white and with a little yellowish white underbelly and legs so um yeah so i mean it does use the koala you know take it it uh take that with a grain of salt so like i said you know obviously its legs are, or its tail is going to kind of uh, clip into the ground a bit. It looks pretty good in trees. That was the main idea, is even though the tail clips on uh, the ground when it sits on the ground, as it moves around, it looks fine. And if we quickly place a, a tree or something, let's add like an, an, an acacia tree as an example. They're probably going to flock to this tree and it, it'll climb up and it'll probably look fine. Um, one of them will do it. I'm almost positive. The koalas, like, are just programmed to want to go up trees. So, if I had to guess, they'll... Yep, here we go. Climbs up the tree. And then when it plops down on a branch, uh, its tail should look fine. I mean, th in this case, this sp specific tree, it, it clips through the, the branch. But, um, yeah. So in this, it looks a little bit better. It's clipping a little bit, but I think it's also because look at how low poly the tree is. Um, but yeah, depending that uh, it's a, a thing that's very common. So uh, like I said, so, you know, I made a few little alter. It's not a ton. Obviously, like, you know, I didn't do anything sweeping change wise. Um, but it does look a lot better. The male doesn't have a pouch. The female does have a pouch. The baby comes out of the pouch and looks fine. Um, so that's all set. So, like I said, just thought I'd quickly showcase that because obviously, you know, that's, you know, what it would look like in game, but we are going to make it into a brand new species. So let us start. So 
First thing I need to do is make a eight letter character folder. So we're gonna name it Tree Kang. Tree Kang. <laughs> um, and then we are going to copy the files of content three. So that is going to be our Australia pack um, files. And then this is what we're gonna use as a base. What up, Dynamation? Welcome to the stream. Uh, and uh, Xander and Banjo, also welcome. That makes me want a low-poly episode of Zoo Tycoon. Yeah, it, do, it does very much look like a Zoo Tycoon asset. Um, so let's delete any assets that we don't need. So we don't need environment, we don't need cinematics, we don't need audio. Uh, we just need animals, localized UI. All right, so that's excellent. So we're going to whip out our handy-dandy Cobra tools. Uh, I could actually delete some of these files. I was working on the Alpaca mod recently. To, it had a couple of little issues, um, but they have been since resolved, so that is all set now. So now let us try to uh, actually do this. So if we go into Tree Kang and then uh, open up our... Uh, Manifest. I don't know what I'm doing. I actually don't even need that. So first we're going to go into Manifest. So this is the very first step you would ever need to do to make a brand new species. So we're going to name it Tree Kang and we need a custom uh, ID. So UUID generator. Copy this. We're going to paste this in. Uh, again, I don't actually know if it matters if they're capitalized or not. I like to do it just to be safe, but um, I, I don't actually know if the manifest cares if they're capital or not. But that's good. So manifest is already done. So we can close out these files and cool. So close that. Next up, we're going to open up our... Uh, what do we want to do first? Our init. Let's do our init first. So init is going to be one of those files where we can literally just delete stuff. So we can delete animal feed. Uh, this is all fine. I'm fine with all of this crap, essentially. Uh, and now we're going to delete everything all the way down until koala. So we need our koala files. So we'll delete all of those files. We should have, in in the end, eight files. So, delete all of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it all correct. Save our init. OVL data. Uh, da, 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 tree Kang. Init. Save it. We're going to reopen it real quick. And we are going to actually... Uh, hash our stuff. So everywhere where it says content3, we're going to type in tree kang, hash it. And everywhere where it says koala. So one, two, three, four, five. I need a... I guess I'll do T kang. T kang is going to be the name of our koala. Um... So the tree kangaroo is going to be uh, using the koala for both the prefab and the animal base so it's actually going to be a lot easier than some other mods out there uh so now that we've done that we can just open up our main and open up our init one last time and now we just got to do the quick step which is editing all, all of our init files so init we go into here we're going to drag out all of our files and edit them in Notepad++. So, this is a very simple process. All we gotta do is replace everywhere where it says content three with tree, kang, replacing all documents, and everywhere everywhere where it says koala, we're gonna do t kang. Replace, good, 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 and good. And exit out of all of these. Excellent. So now we can just drag these back in really quick, and our init is done. So that's good. So, yep, init. Yes. There we go. So next up, we're going to do our... We'll do asset package first. So 
I like to do asset package just because main is the biggest, <laughs> biggest pain. I'm like, it's it's not fun. I can delete my init folder. So asset package uh, is going to be the one of the tougher ones. So it's going to be, for the most part, just hashing again. So we'll replace everywhere where it says koala with T Kang, everywhere where it says content three with tree Kang. And now we have to just go down the list and replace every one of the four letters that we don't need with the word lion. So AU underscore A, hash it to say lion, AU underscore B, AU underscore C, AU underscore D, and we're basically just going down the alphabet. This isn't going to be fun, but you know. I'm actually sort of glad that Australia uses the, the first letter of the alphabet, though, because it at least makes it slightly easier for me. Because um, literally most of the stuff begins with the, you know, AU abbreviation. Cassowary, Chow, uh, Dingo, uh, Eastern... Now we do all the enrichment items. Australia, for some reason, added a lot of enrichment items. I don't know why. Got 83 viewers right now. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, thank you very much. How much money do you want to... F uh, you know what? Um, to fix the Binturong. Mm, ooh, how much would that be? There's a lot to fix. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. So you're halfway there. So if anyone would like to contribute an extra five dollars, I'll do a, a remaster, I guess, of the. Um, I messed this up. I got distracted. But for an for an extra ten dollars, I'll 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 do a remaster of the Benteron because yeah, that they. What were they thinking? I know there's a lot of people that want to defend it and be like, they worked real hard on it. And I get it. They did. You know, I can definitely... Listen, I respect that they didn't take the easy route and they went ahead and made a actual brand new animal. I just wish it looked a lot better. <laughs> so that's going to be the thing. Um... Would it be a good idea to save an edited version of the files so that you can put them in when you need... Wait. Would it be a good idea to save an edited version of the files that you can just put what you need in there and does something prevent it? Um, we could. So if I wanted to, I probably could use an existing animal as a base. Now, no one's actually made a koala uh, mod, to my knowledge. So this is j the reason I have to kind of do this is just because... Like I said, not a single person has actually made a koala mod yet. Um, so I messed up a little bit. So I have to kind of... Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay. Tell you what. So when the Binturong comes out, I will make a Binturong remaster. Um, and yeah. Because I, have, I, I want to fix a lot with it. So don't don't you worry. I'll definitely fix that for everyone. Um, appreciate it, though. So there you go. Thank you all. You're you're doing a service to the community. <laughs> now, um, that'll kind of be nice though, because all I have to really do is a replacement mod. I don't actually turn it. Need to turn it into a new species because I literally just need it to be a replacement. Um, so that it's actually going to be kind of nice for a lot of reasons, including myself. So that is really nice. Um, so now I just gotta redo what I just did because I was I was a dumb boy. Thank you, Andy. Oh, yeah. Honestly, Andy, I, I need to, like, make the cool moto an emoji. I don't know why I haven't done it on anything. I really wanted to. I just haven't done it for some reason. Also, let me know if you guys want. I was thinking of making a cool moto dragon shirt for my shop. I don't know if anyone else wants that, but um, it, let me know. Because I have, I have a couple of designs in the works for my shop. Because I know my current uh, selection of shirt designs isn't the best. But I'm working currently on my tree eagle, uh, my my panda eagle shirt. 
Um, which is like, you know, the, the little, you know, issue that everyone gets when you download my Eagle mod, but then uninstall it, and then you have a panda sitting in a tree somewhere. So that's going to be a shirt. Uh, I was thinking of doing a cool moto shirt. I had a lot of people being like, nah, it's too niche, Nick. No one would buy it. So I want to gauge interest. If, if I at least have like three people who are like, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll buy a cool moto dragon shirt. I, I will make it, but, um, I want to make sure that people are actually going to buy it before I go through the effort of working on it. And then the last shirt, like I said, I've been, uh, working on for a long time now is the Roger Williams design. Um, I'm trying to get it so that it looks good. Um, and that will probably release once the series is over, um, which shouldn't be too much longer now. Leaf has the park, um, but after he has it, we only have pretty much two, maybe three episodes left. Um, and then we're done with Roger Williams. So that'll probably, uh, go out at that time. Uh, here we go. I got to get past all the lions. So plant or replace, uh, mech we need to replace red underscore. We need to replace. And then rock, and then we might be good. Because then it should just be tree kangaroo, I'd assume. So species we need. Um, this is a little, I have to do this. Red K, change that. Uh, T Kang, that's fine. Mm, T Kang, everywhere, okay. So, I have to do tree really quick. And, oh, there's even more surprisingly. Uh, how do you know it's the baby? Hopefully I can finish the backyard this weekend. Got the camels done. Treehouse is going to be, yeah. I, yeah. Why do you think I didn't want to do it, Leaf? Why do you think I was like, oh yeah, sure, you can have the park. Because, yeah, I don't want to work on any of that stuff. Though, like I said, you've been doing a great job, so I have no issue with you taking over. You've been doing an excellent job with uh, Roger Williams. So, let's see. And Zoopedia. Okay. I believe I did everything correct asset package-wise. So, we're going to save it, and now we're going to do our... Uh, dat editing. So dat edit should be relatively simple. Oh no, trust me, listen, Leaf and I are in talks. Roger Williams will not be ending soon. The actual build will be over soon, but Leaf and I are, we're in the work, we're gonna, we're gonna keep Roger Williams coming. Don't worry about that. That, that definitely will still be coming. Um, Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I, I, I accidentally tried to hash instead of doing what I was supposed to do, which was species, species debt. Um, so Koala to T Kang, we do dat edit. Let that run really quick. Now we need to do content three to be tree Kang, dat edit. Actually, let me, give me a sec. <laughs> I keep messing up stuff. I'm still getting used to this workflow instead of my old one. I used to just do actual hex editing and stuff manually. Now that I don't do it, it's, you know, been weird. Uh, so we'll do that edit. Good. We save asset package. Yes. We reopen it really quick. We go into it, in it, then asset package. Then we do koala to T Kang. And then we dat edit. And then now we save it. Okay. So now asset package should also be done. So now we just have to do the main. So main is the annoying one, but let us do it. So 
Uh, not as bad. So Koala, we changed to Keat T. Kang. Content 3, we changed to Tree Kang. And now everything else, we changed to Lion, as always. So this should go a lot faster because the main has a lot less files. Uh, okay, so... C three P A. Uh, that's fine. Defa Ding East Fran Curb. I'm just gonna get rid of every file that says Lion really quick. It's, you know, it, it'll speed up this process a lot. T Kang I want, Red Kang I don't. Um, rail I don't. Scenario I don't. And the rest I do. Okay, excellent. So, uh, we are going to save our main OBL. We are going to open up in it really quick, open up our main, and then we need all of our Luas and all of our uh, FDBs. So Tree Kang, we're going to make a folder. We're going to call it main. And we are going to drag in our Lua files. Lua. Drag in all of our Lua files. Give that a second. Let's check up with the chat. Uh, someone should make their dole into an Ardwolf. That'd be a cool mod. I'd download that mod. Um, uh, I hope I can mod in the Kawadi in the future. Yeah, I was I was working with Rizzo on a Kawadi uh, not too long ago. I might still pick that up depending. I, I'm just going to wait a little bit because any mods that were using the Red Panda, I was waiting for the Binturong. Because like, as an example, um, I had someone uh, interested in commissioning me to uh, create a um, new species version of the raccoon, uh, which I was probably planning on doing anyway. And so I'm thinking of uh, giving them a discounted price to update that mod. Um, because I was planning on doing it anyway. Uh, so that's the Lua files, FDB files. I only need three of them. So I need animals. I need education. I need research. And I need Zoopedia. So now that I have all of this, I can actually... Uh, do the other dat editing. So we'll do content three to tree kang. Edit. Dat edit. Save it. Save over main. Yes. Open up in it. Open up main. Now we can do koala to be T Kang. Dat edit. Save it and just reopen it. And then when we're done, all we'll have to do is just uh, drag in our files. So that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that should be good. Uh, so now let us do all of our files. So. This is annoying, but we are just going to delete all of you. We don't need you. Goodbye. We don't need your files. Uh, objectives. We don't need any of you. So delete everything below local. Uh, database. So this one, we actually do need to actually do some stuff. No, wait, never mind. It's not this one. Thought it was. It's not. Uh, we need this one. Databases that Tree Kang is the one that's the the weird one. So all the rest we can literally just delete everything. 
it's kind of satisfying just like seeing like all of this jumbled code and just literally be like, yeah, we don't need you. Goodbye. Hi, look, look at all this data you put into here. Yep, we don't care. So, nope, we don't need you either. Thought we did, we don't. Uh, this one we might, yeah. So this one we actually need to edit some stuff. So we're gonna replace every reference of content three with our code name, which is Tree Kang. And we are gonna delete everything that we don't need, which should be all of these files and all of these files. And I accidentally hit insert. So that's excellent, that's excellent. Now we can just go down a bit. We can delete up to research and we can delete down to Zoopedia. So Zoopedia, research, education, animals, excellent. So our Lua's hour are all done. So that's really good. So now we can basically just kind of get started on our actual uh, files. So for species, we are going to add a brand new species. We're going to call it T-Kang. We're going to make it a habitat animal and we're going to put it in the base game. Because power to the people, I don't make any of my mods require DLC. So if you down, if you want tree kangaroos, you're not going to need to get the Australia DLC to download it. Uh, I'm going to keep the exact same settings as the koala. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of research here. So we're going to have to look up the mat cheese tree or <laughs> match. I, 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 I forget how you spell it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this right. The Matt Cheese Tree Kangaroo. There we go. So the uh, order is gonna be this. So whatever the hell this thing is, we're gonna go into order. Okay, we already have it. So it is a marsupial. That makes sense. Uh, Macropode is the family. Oh, and genus. Okay, cool. So it's actually, it actually makes a lot of sense. I had a lot of people being like, oh, why are you using the koala? It seems to make an awful lot of sense, though. The tree kangaroo really is, like, one of the closest relatives to the koala. So that's actually kind of nice. So we'll add that in. That is our genus name, our family name, and our order is all set. Um, conservation status we're going to have to do. Uh, that's all fine. Species data. This doesn't really matter. So I've, or at least that I found. To my knowledge, this data does not matter in the slightest. Thank you very much. I appreciate your mods and appreciate your hard work. Any chance we'll make a smaller tropical fish a stingray? Uh, yes. So the stingray is definitely going to come, uh, once Jesse gets the, uh, What's it called? Um, once we get scenery props in, you will be getting a cow nose stingray for sure for touch tanks. So that is definitely coming. Uh, smaller tropical fish, I'm going to try to do. Uh, I, I don't want to make promises because I don't think I would do anything. I don't think I'm going to make new species for each individual small fish because I think that would be kind of chaotic if I made like, here's a clownfish as, a, as an exhibit anim or a, a habitat animal and it swims around. Some people might like that. I know Croco would definitely like that. I don't know if it's going to be as worth it, but uh, I, I have attempted fish in the past unsuccessfully, unfortunately. Once we get um, the wheel, like scenery, I can definitely attach fish onto the um, uh, East Asia wheel prop, though. So East Asia wheel prop is going to be everyone's best friend if they want stuff like fish and birds and stuff of that nature. That is going to be everyone's best friend. Um, which is funny because like, you know, right now I have a shirt on my shop, uh, for the East Asian wheel prop, but I feel like not anyone really appreciates, appreciates it just yet. Everyone very soon though is going to love it because it's the, the best chance you get if you want flying birds, if you want fish, if you want stingrays, if you want bats, any of these animals, uh, that's going to be a thing. Hello, it's my sister's birthday. She's turning 18. Well, happy birthday to your sister. Uh, 
let let them know have a happy birthday um and yeah thank you for uh joining this little fun stream uh or maybe not so fun depending how you look at it it's just me typing into excel style cells uh t kang uh the is that and conservation status i don't i aren't they are endangered right yeah because I know Roger Williams has a breeding program for them for that reason. So they are endangered, so we are going to do that. We are going to delete all the other files. And I think with that being said, our uh, Zoopedia page should be done. I just want to quickly go through, delete any leftover stuff. That looks fine. So great. So uh, Zoopedia is done. So now we're going to move on to research. So research is a thing that Leaf and I have been messing up a lot lately. Uh, so uh, fingers crossed I don't mess it up this time. But T. Kang. Uh, so if we go to research item, we're going to do this. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I, the issue I, I've noticed is Leaf and I have been doing new species before everyone else. So whenever, um, so we still use a lot of the more, I guess, outdated techniques sometimes. Where I, I'm, I'm trying to get used to getting uh, used to the brand new techniques and stuff that Jesse has uh, allowed for. But I, I still kind of resort back to some of my old ways sometimes. Um, and so by doing that, we've been having some issues. <laughs> some of our animals are causing crashes. Some of our animals are missing research that cause crash. It, it's, you know, we're just trying our best. So I need a random six-digit number. Do, 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 do. And we'll add a one. I like to just dance around on my keyboard, just typing in random numbers. And then we go down the list, and we should be good. So that should be all the T. Kang files added. Now we have to add all of our, um, what's it called? These files, which there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 files. So we will copy all of these and make 12 new entries. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 new entries, paste them in. We add in our T. Kang breeding. Add that. T. Kang education, copy that. Change that to be one, two, and three. We need T. Kang supplement one and two and t kang zoopedia one two three four and five so there we go and then we need to change this to be t kang we can paste it everywhere um all the way down that's totally fine and i need random numbers once again we'll do kind of dancing around uh, my keyboard just a bit that would be an integer that would lead to an overflow error so we don't want that going down the list all the way this is the most tedious I'll, I'll say this is probably the worst one I'm not gonna lie I, you'd think that it would be something like um, animals that is the worst but for me personally i i would rather do animals than this uh research tab because first off i don't even use research because i play on uh sandbox for the most part but um yeah i just i don't have fun with this one because it's a lot of typing while some of the others are literally just kind of um i guess just changing everything where it says koala to say uh, T. Kang, like when we get to the animals tab. Uh, similarly, but here we actually have to manually type out, you know, 
Uh, go into Koala, change it to say T Kang Breeding 1 and 2. And then we delete all of these files. And now we can go into our uh, research items, delete everything here. And if we go to research pack, we can delete everything here. So that's all fine. That's all fine. And I think we might be done with research. I think I just have to quickly delete the other animals. All right. So research is also done. So education. Education is usually a quick one. So, yep. All we have to do is add in T Kang habitat and animal underscore T Kang. Uh, usually there's just like one other little thing. Yep, right here. We just copy our education. Education's like one of the easier ones to do. On, on some, you don't even have to do it. It's funny. I think it's the Arctic pack. They don't even have any files in education, so you could like totally ignore it if you want, which is really nice. Uh, and then I think that's it. Uh, info board. Kang. So this is uh, essentially where I'm uh, technically telling the game, hey, by the way, you spawn in. Uh, I'm, I'm giving it a garbage name, essentially, by saying, hey, use this file that doesn't exist. But um, that's why your education boards don't actually appear. Uh, what do you think is the hardest part about making a new species? Um, the hardest part is likely the main OBL, like I said. It's very easy to mess this up. Um, it's like, it, it's just kind of looking at the same files over and over again. And so after a while, you kind of go a bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. You go a bit insane. Um, so that is kind of a thing. Um, this looks simple. It looks simple, but it's very easy to mess up. And it is simple. Like, for the most part, it is a pretty straightforward process. But it's deceptively simple, where a lot, a lot of people, like, look at this and see, like, oh, he's just copying and pasting everything. It's, it's super easy. There's a lot of little things, though, that a lot of people miss, because it's a lot of little steps that I'm really not explaining as I go. But um, as an example, like, I had to reopen my init after saving every time. A lot of people skip that step. It'll throw errors if you if you don't do that. Um, so it's, it's just little things like that that have that issue. Um, but past that, it is, for the most part, once you get comfortable uh, doing everything, it is just copying and pasting. So that is, that is, it's partially true when you say, oh, it's easy. Because it is when you know what you're doing. A lot of people, though, they don't know what they're doing, so they kind of skip steps. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm, I'm fine keeping Tree Kangaroo with Rainforest and Temperate. That makes the most sense to me. Um, that sounds about right. Camera data can be exactly the same as the Koala. That's totally fine. I think even the size is the same, so that would make sense. Okay, so this is going to... Uh, actually, it's already set to Australasia, which is kind of nice. Because uh, I don't believe... Yeah, I'm honestly fine just calling it Australasia. Because um, they live in Asia, but if they count it as Australasia, then that's fine. So that's actually kind of interesting. It's probably going to mean that a lot of the animals that are going to be in the Southeast Asia pack are actually going to be labeled Australasia instead of uh, just Asia. Like I, I something like maybe the um, the Babarusa, as an example, it's very likely it might be Australasia instead of um, same with the Binturong, to be honest. It might be like the Binturong might be something like Australasia and Asia, and then the Barbarossa might just be Australasia. Um, but we'll have to see. Um, so let's delete all of you. Let's delete all of you. And we're just going to change your names. Uh, exchange data. I'm going to assume it's going to be the exact same. Again, in, in a lot of ways, this is going to be very, very similar to 
Okay, this is going to be a thing. So, the... What do they eat? What do tree kangaroos eat? I'm going to change their thing to be fruits and vegetables. Is that true? I think that's true. What, uh, can someone in the chat just verify what do tree kangaroos eat for food? Because I know they don't eat eucalyptus. So, would fruit and vegetables be fine? Or maybe hay? I don't think hay would really make much sense. Uh, they eat food. Thank you. That, that's vague. Leaves and stuff. Um. Fruit and leaves. You know what? I'm gonna actually I'm gonna leave it at eucalyptus branches then, because it'll if this this is only gonna determine that it will visually look like um, something. So if they're eating branches or whatever, I don't think many people are gonna be like, oh, that's a eucalyptus thing. It makes no sense. I think it'd be totally fine if they're just eating off branches and leaves. Um, so that's fine by me. So I'll I'll just keep it at eucalyptus, even if it's technically not eucalyptus that they normally eat. I must have, like, accidentally copied the fruit and vegetables thing. Um, I'm going to assume their needs are going to be extremely similar to a koala, to be completely honest. Um, yeah, I, I think that would make the most sense. Uh, I'm going to say their interest rating is about as good as a koala, probably. I, I think that would make the most sense. Language. Okay, so this is an interesting one. So, so they're not from Australia. So, should I give them an Asian name? Where do they live? New Guinea. So, they live in, they live in Papua New Guinea. So, New Guinea isn't actually a language, I don't believe. So I guess I will just keep Australian modern then. I guess that probably would make the most sense. So like I said, this is probably going to be very similar to my alpaca mod where 99% of the ass, like, actually, I'd almost argue 100% of the um, needs and stuff are going to be the same as koala. The only difference I think is I... No, because literally, literally even the continent was the same. But every, everything about them is essentially the exact same. Um, yeah, the, the topography settings seem to be fine. Test data, we can get rid of these. Theater parameters, uh, I'm fine with all of the koala behaviors. It's kind of crazy, actually. Tree kangaroos can also be found on mainland Australia, so that also works. Yeah, so that's my point. Like, I think, for the most part, it's totally fine, everything I did. So, these are all the little audio files. I don't even know if it matters. It might just ignore them, but I'm just gonna replace every instance of koala with T. Kang, regardless, just to be safe. Um, so, there shouldn't be any other animals here. Bedding stations, uh, biomes, that's fine, body mass. Again, for the most part, a koala and a tree kangaroo are roughly the same size, so that's totally fine. Um, box type is fine, box data is fine, cheat variables. This is going to determine how puffy they are. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to be fine if it's 0.5, that should be totally fine. Uh, what else do we got? I used Aboriginal Australian for my dogs, if that helps. Um, yeah, I can maybe do that. That's not terrible. I've seen your videos a lot recently, and I'm really enjoying them. Are you considering making a Black Tip Reef Shark? Black Tip Reef Shark, I think Jesse said he was going to be doing. So there's definitely more uh, sharks in the works. I'm working on my whale shark, obviously. Um, I think Jesse might be interested in updating the Aurora Designs Black Tip Reef. Um, which is funny, because if that's the case, we would have basically had an entire shark pack with the Sand Tiger Shark, the Hammerhead, the Black Tip Reef, and the Whale Shark. 
Um, which, let's face it, that's probably the shark pack that everyone would want. Because I think I saw in the chat earlier someone was mentioning how they wanted... Um, what was it? Uh, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, great White Shark. Um, which I'm fine making a mod for a Great White. I know it's unrealistic and stuff, but I'm also fine for mods going a bit more unrealistic. Um, I, I never saw an issue with that sort of thing. Uh, cause let's face it, like, you know, the idea behind Planet Zoo modding is to eventually make this the de facto replacement to Zoo Tycoon. Which means we do need to eventually get to, uh, I know some people don't like the paleo mods and stuff. We do need paleo mods. We do need fantasy creatures. We do need, uh, aquatic animals and stuff. So I'm fine going, like, as an example, I was interested in maybe doing, um, when I update my African forest elephant, doing a mini Congo pack that also would have included a mountain gorilla and, um... Uh, Red River Hog update. Because I want to just redo my Red River Hog in general. I think the texture on it just... A lot of people wanted to be nice and they were like, Oh, it looks fine. It looks great, Nick. I don't think it does. I think it still to this day looks disgusting and I don't want anything to do with it. So I'm probably just going to redo the Red River Hog from scratch. Maybe even using the Babarusa now that we have it um, at our disposal. That might be easier because it's sim more similar to... Um, a, a normalized pig like that, like the Red River Hog. Uh, see you later, Banjo. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate you being here. So that's all fine. Two genders. That's good. Guest stance. Koala. Idle, idle behavior. We'll delete everything here. Delete everything down here. And just paste in our key kangs. We're almost done, actually, believe it or not. Um, so we're actually going to... This could be another one of those situations where I actually do two animals in one stream, depending on how things go. I don't know what other animal I would do. I, haven't, I, I didn't really think about that aspect um maybe i'll do my maybe i'll do my white rhino i haven't touched that yet um is leaf still here by chance because if leaf is here um can he ask jesse what he used as a base for his black rhino because i'll update my white rhino using the same animal uh, koala, personality, personality weights, that's all fine. We can delete the dingo. Predator prey, priority, size class, size data. So, like I said, size, very, very, almost near identical to the koala. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, sleep data, same, same thing. Social behavior, same thing. Yeah, tree kangaroos, for all intents and purposes, are literally just kangaroos. Or, uh, just koalas. <laughs> uh, okay, tree kangaroos. Could they be put in habitats with other animals? I think they might be able to. I don't know what they would fit with. I've never seen any kind of tree kangaroo koala enrichment or anything, but let me know if that is a thing. Um... I know the Bronx Zoo keeps them alone. The Roger Williams keeps them alone. Tree kangaroo interspecies exhibit. I don't. I don't know if any anyone's ever done that. What has Woodland Park done? Do they just have a breeding program. Uh, he used the llama. Okay, yeah, I could probably do that with cassowary. Okay. I've seen with kangaroos, cassowary. Okay, would you guys want me to include cassowary as the enrichment? Like, would you guys... I'll, I'll do cassowary. If, if, if everyone's screaming cassowary, I'll, I'll do that. Cassowary. So, they can have interspecies uh, with cassowaries. Um... 
Yeah, tortoises, that's it. Um, I'll throw in cassowary. Well, because here's the other thing, is I feel like the cassowary would leave him alone because they'd be up in the trees. The kangaroos, regular kangaroos. Okay. I'm just going to leave, yeah, because I know they live in Papua New Guinea. Okay, see, I have a lot of people, like, on the saying, yeah, go for cassowaries. I have a lot of people also saying, yeah, no, don't do that. That's a dumb idea. Because I know cassowaries are also incredibly territorial, and they are extremely dangerous creatures. So, yeah, I am a little hesitant on including them. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I, I, okay, I'll just remove interspecies enrichment. Um, I mean, that's the thing is, obviously, if you guys want, you can always make a habitat using cassowaries and tree kangaroos. Um, I'm just not going to make it so that they get enriched by being with them. I think that's fair. So you can have tree kangaroos with your cassowaries. They just wouldn't, um, do that. They wouldn't have anything of that nature. Uh, species and um, so this is gonna be where we need to come up with our, our unique idea for our tree kangaroo. I don't know why I'm feeling the number seven seven. Uh, seven seven nine four. I'm feeling that number. I don't know why. I kind of get the vibe that would be our tree kangaroo's number. Um, I've been using the word vibe a lot lately. I feel like I'm just vibing. Uh, get rid of that. Species with alpha, get rid of that. Stress parameters, do that. Taxonomic family is fine. That would have, th I would have had an issue with that in the end if I didn't actually commit it. Uh, theater. Delete you guys. Delete you guys. Do that. Oh, here's actually kind of a thing is if you wanted, I guess you could probably make it so that you didn't actually have uh, them give birth. What up, Poison Blade? Thanks for coming by. Uh, I actually just got done recording with Poison Blade uh, and Silver Fox for that matter uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, we were uh, working on our, I guess I can say it now, our collaboration project. It's, it's not really a secret anymore. Uh, which is Terra Nova. So Terra Nova is going to go live on Bold's channel this Saturday. And uh, yeah, so you can uh, look forward to all of that. I'll be, you know, retweeting it and sharing it uh, myself, letting you guys know, hey, by the way, go check it out. But uh, here's just a little heads up if you guys want. Oh, speaking of Bold, there she is. Um, but it's going to be a huge collab. Leaf is part of it. Bold's part of it. Poison Blade. Zoof. BZ. I mean, Silver Fox, obviously, like I mentioned. Oh, God, there's so many people. I'm forgetting, like, half of them. <laughs> there's a lot of people. It's, like, about ten people. Um, but, yeah. So, there you are. So, uh, you know. Yeah, she was on Bold Equine. But, uh, yeah, so her actual account is just BOLD in all caps. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you guys can look forward to that coming this weekend. Uh, I like to think it was it was a good little recording session. Um, and yeah, so I won't be putting up my episode for probably a little over a month now. Um, but um, eventually that will come down the line. But like I said, I'm definitely going to be uh, collaborating and stuff and helping them out with that project. All right, so provided I did everything correctly... We should be able to just save our main OVL and load Planet Zoo right now. And fingers crossed, I did everything right. So, that was the thing. Uh, yeah, so can you make a red shanked duke or a golden snub-nosed monkey? Uh, maybe. I don't want to make any promises, but maybe. So, I think I did everything correctly. The game appears to be loading. So that's good. So here we go. Here is our... We're, we loaded into the game. We should have... Okay, I think I know what the issue is. So it might be... Do I have two koalas? Huh. 
That's interesting. What's odd is I didn't get a blank spot. Huh. I've never seen this before. I just want to test something out really quick. So... This might be a case of... What's the matter? So when I went into the game, my... Um, you know how normally if you do the main OVL and stuff, uh, it would show up with just like a blank file uh, for your animal without any lock or any image or anything? Um, I didn't have that. So it was like it didn't actually exist. Now, it didn't crash my game. Did you do the manifest? I did do the manifest. So that should be good. Yeah. It didn't work as its own species. I wish they added a bird, though. I'm trying to think here. In the meantime, I'm just going to try to delete anything I don't need. Did you do the asset package in the init? I did. So I did do those. I'm going to try to reload it. Yeah, because I, I did do those two files, though. I did the init. I did the asset package. I did the main. I dat edited asset package and main. I don't need to dat edit in it. Um, I got that error for my elk and I ended up doing it all over again. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because it's just not showing up. That's the weird part. See, what I'm wondering though is like why it's even letting me into the game then. So, huh. It's interesting. Oh, here, here, oh, I'll show this off. Here's a little baby tree kangaroo. <laughs> so you can see that running around. Here's one of the tree kangaroos sleeping. Uh, will it ever be easier to use content zero? Um... Yeah, it's probably always going to be a problem, I'm not going to lie, just because the issue is just the fact that you have to copy such a giant amount of data. So let's see. I'm trying to think here, though. Hmm. I can't understand why it doesn't work. I'm, I'm wondering that myself, like why it wouldn't work. Um, let's try to think. Because I'm pretty sure I did everything correct. And it loaded, so like that's the other thing, is it actually loaded the damn game. Quickly, I'm just quickly glancing through this because I think at minimum, even if I have to redo, maybe it's this. This could have been it. Let's try this. This is like a little random issue, but I, I am wondering if it would do it. Because it looks like one of the one of my Lua's wasn't actually deleted. Oh god, I don't want to open it with the hex editor. So that's all fine, that's all fine. I, again, I don't know if that would do it, probably not, but we'll have to see. So let's quickly check Planet Zoo again. We'll go into my little black bear test area. I hope it's something as simple as that. Nope. 
Okay, so let's try to think. What would be causing that? So, huh. Just now at this point, I'm just making sure that all of the others are actually good. So this is the good one, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's all good. Um, let's see. Might have to restart. Uh, yeah. It's looking that way. But I'm almost positive that my main is good. Hmm. Just for now, I'm just gonna test something. I don't wanna say it, you might have to redo it. Yeah, I, I might have to redo some things, I'm just wondering. Cause it's definitely triggering something. Maybe it's the DAP problem? It might be. That's what I'm wondering. Maybe, like, they didn't da edit. I, I, I want to check that out, though. Okay, so... Because, yeah, we need to solve this. So, this is why we do this, though. So, content three, I need my main, in it and asset package. Manifest... You know what? We're going to do the manifest as well, again, just to be totally safe. Maybe maybe I had a bugged manifest. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to delete all of this. Because here's the good news, right? So we're going to change this to, say, Tree Kang. And we're just going to change just a couple values. Uh, E and 7. Just to, you know, for the most part, totally random manifest. Next up, we'll do the init one more time. So, uh, anything that says, or I guess we'll delete stuff first. So, I need you. I did the main right. I do think it might be a hex editing issue. Uh, we'll have to see. Hold on. Open up the init. Oh, I, I keep messing up. Open up the init. And we'll just do you. Okay. So... Replace everything that says content 3 with tree kang in all documents. Now, everything that says Koala with T Kang in all documents. Good, 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 and good. Okay, so my init should be good. I see no issue with my init. Uh, oh, is there the stream having issues? Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Sorry about the lag, though. It was funny, because literally today we were talking about how, because I just got 5G internet, internet, and, uh, yeah. So, if you guys are, if it's cutting out and stuff, I think this does prove that my 5G internet is not actually 5G internet. <laughs> uh, because we have to, we have to call the the um our internet provider and get that squared away because that's just we shouldn't be having issues like this if we were promised whatever like oh this is the fastest internet available content three to tree kang a u to a b c 
D, E. Like, the cap is something like a best-in slot or something, where he covers, you know, dinosaurs and zoos and stuff like that, and that's like, you know, e even on the high end, that's a good life right there, you know? If you could, like, eventually get to the point where you're just making <laughs> dinosaur content and getting that famous, so... But I'm, I'm fine where I am. Like, you know, I definitely enjoy what I do. I make, you know, a decent little check for money. Um, you know, as a little, as a hobby. Like, it's a little extra. Let's see. So, yeah, you guys are saying we're definitely having issues. Let me try to see if I can change anything. Yeah... I actually don't know if it's my internet. That's the other thing, because, like, um, I want to say it is, but I'm not positive. Because it could just be YouTube as well. I know YouTube sometimes messes this stuff up all the time. Like, sometimes their servers are not very good for live streaming. They seem to be far more inconsistent than Twitch ever was, but uh, I like the platform a lot more. But it it is kind of annoying from my perspective of, like, I'll then try to... Oh, God. Luckily, I just messed up there, but I messed up in a way that actually... It's going to be the big deciding factor here. So I just reopen this. We're going to have this in the background. So we're going to type in content three, and we're going to type in tree tang. We're going to go to edit, dat edit, and we're going to give it a second. So it appears to have worked. We're just going to save it really quick, and we're going to redo it. Oh, God. Open up the init really quick. Open up that. Oh, nice. If you banged out the treehouse, that's awesome. Koala, T Kang, edit, that edit. Appears to have worked. Save it again. I'm just gonna maybe off chance, shouldn't matter, but maybe off chance do the lowercase versions. So content three, tree kang, that edit, cool. I don't know what else they would have called the koala um, to where it would be weird. Don't know if you saw my comment about the UUID because of the tag lag, but if you use it, um, but don't you need to use it? You don't need to use it. Um, you can just technically just change random variables, which is, like I said, I'm, I'm, maybe that was my issue. I don't know if that's the actual issue, but I was saying that that is a potential issue that I wanted to maybe check out. So asset package is now totally done. So let's go to main. First things first, I'm deleting audio, and I'm going to save it and reopen it. So open, asset package, open main really quick. How can I become a member? You can go to the link in the description, and uh, it'll basically walk you through the whole process. It'll literally just kind of uh, take you to the uh, page, and it'll like let you uh, put in your, you know, whatever info. And uh, be good from that. I'm done. I'm loud. It's like deafening. I need to get rid of that. That was just, it was just so obnoxiously loud. <laughs> um, so there we go. Okay, so I have my main. So let's let's start off by doing uh, some dat editing. So or uh, some hashing. So content three, we changed to be tree kang. Good. Now. Everything else we need to just do uh, into Lion. So that's good. Good. 
Good. Good. C three C A. C three C L. C three P A. Good. 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 Defa. Ding. East. Fran. Curb. Uh, we'll go from the bottom now, I guess. Uh, scenario, red K, rail, park, object, and that should be it, right? That should be good. Save main, good. We'll reopen it really quick. And we'll do the exact same data editing process. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go and get that lion head next to your name. You get the, the coveted silver lion that uh, Andy and Leaf have, or if you're a brand new member, I think it's a green lion. And then uh, if you're a member for a month, it becomes a bronze lion. Um, and yeah, so you can collect lion heads, essentially. And you get a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I have to pay with PayPal. It's a question. So, like, so do you have to pay with PayPal? I don't know. I don't know the specifics of paying to be a member internationally. I, I, I just know it's, it's literally no different than, like, buying anything else online, to my knowledge. Um, but again, I, I don't know the specifics. Um, so let's see, we'll do koala to tkang dat edit. Cool. Save main. Yes. Open up in it. Open up main. Content three, change that to tree kang. Edit that edit. Save it. Save over main. Yes. Open up our init one last time. Open up main. Now let's drag in all of our main assets. So if this doesn't work, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the issue is. Oh boy, what's this issue? Can't find for objectives. Oh, uh, because did I name it something different? It might have an issue with some of these. Park? Yeah. Because I think I named some of the Lua's differently this, this go round. Which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, let's see. Because it doesn't really matter all that much, I don't think. So, database should be all the same. So, I should be able to put these ones in, right? Yep. And I'm able to put these in, right? So I think the only issue is some of these got changed. If I change them to be this, I think this might fix it. No. What did I name them then? Search by Lua. What do they name? Lion Objective Settings, Lion Ledge, zero one. So this should be fine then. Oh, these are also Lion. Yep, okay, I think I see the issue. And then these would also have been converted to be Lion as well. So now they should go and find. Yes, there we go. 
Save over the main. Now please work this time. Hopefully we can get this ball rolling again. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just take stuff, I might do the fun stuff like the thumbnails and stuff, because otherwise I wouldn't know what I'm doing. But um, I believe I did everything correct. Like I said, I don't see where I might have messed up. Um, so let's see, animal, where is it? That, what the heck? I don't know what would be causing it. Like, what is this animation? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of funny. It's like playing dead. This is just, this is my Zoopedia. It's just watching it like die, essentially. I don't know. Good evening. Hello, Goron. What is up? I am trying to figure out why it's doing this. So, what would it be doing? I think, like, the only logical things would be that it's messing, like, are my FDBs messed up? I don't think they are. Did I accidentally, like, did I, like, somewhere, somehow delete something? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's try this. That could do it. That is a mess up. Do you have the original mod that's the replacement installed? Uh, that shouldn't matter. Because the replacement version wouldn't really change anything. Because um, the replacement is just entirely focused on the Koala assets. I'm wondering though, because apparently I just checked in the animal FDB, I forgot to delete the animal definitions. No, still. I mean, that is an issue. What I just did was an issue. But it's still not displaying it. Hmm. What the heck? Uh, thoughts on the Binturong? I think it looks not good. That is the short of it. Um, if you want specifics on my opinions on it, you can, uh, I made my whole video today basically ranting about it. <laughs> I think it's not a bad looking model. I think it's just a really bad looking Binturong. If that's supposed to be a Binturong, they did a really bad job. If it's just a generic animal, I think it would look fine. All right, so let's just, because maybe I have more issues, right? So, because that was an issue what I just looked at. That was definitely an issue. Um, education, did I forget to do it here as well or something? No, research. Because I'm trying, like, I'm trying to understand what possibly could be causing that. I mean, maybe, and this is like the dumbest theory ever. Maybe it's just the enumerator I gave it. I really doubt that. Okay. Here's just a little test we're going to do. I'm going to make a, a little folder, call it mods. We're going to remove every other mod I have currently installed. We're going to package all these up. Cool. And we're going to ship this off to my documents folder. I actually have some of them already here. <laughs> so, could it be the Lua's? Uh, maybe? It's possible... I don't know, like, again, like, because you said you had this issue as well, and, like, you just redid the whole thing and it worked. Because let me just try something. Like, again, this is just a shot in the dark. 
my only theory is that for whatever reason, I use the exact same random enumerator number as I did for an existing mod. I really doubt that is the case, but I want to just see if, if maybe, just maybe, I accidentally did. I don't think so, though. Yeah, no. Okay, so it's not that. Huh. So this is in here. Let me think. Tree Kang. Tree Kang. Huh. Yeah, I have no idea either. Um. God. I have a lot of people messaging me on Discord, though. Let me just think here. Um, would it be the main... Like, I don't know... Like, to my knowledge, I don't really think it is any of the FDBs. I really don't. Like, I just don't see it as anything that would have that sort of an issue. Tree Kang Research. Like, is it just the data editing? Do you know, audio? is it audio? I thought I deleted audio. I mean, I doubt it. We can always add that real quick. Um, I'm sure one of my mods I have somewhere has a blank audio. I don't think it is, though. Uh, Main Wolf used the dingo, right? So we'll use this one. I really doubt it's audio. It'd be weird if it was. Put it that way. Because I even deleted audio from the main OVL, so it shouldn't even be calling audio. Yeah, exactly. Like, it shouldn't even be... I don't know it is. I, he had, I know I don't have one. I deleted the audio file, so I shouldn't need one. So, like, that's why I really don't think it is the audio issue. It could be, because I know the, the Koala did have some audio files it was trying to call. I just doubt it personally. Yeah, it's not the audio. So it's definitely not audio. This is my favorite part. Yeah, exactly. It's just the what What the hell did I do wrong stage. I don't know what I did. It's not working, though. This is frustrating, though, because it's not even showing up. Like, it's not even, like, I wish it was just crashing my game, to be honest. Like, as an example, let's just remove my asset package, right? We'll just toss my asset package away for a second. This should del this should run the game up until my um until I load into a map. Then it will crash, or it should. It is stuck on this for a bit though, so I don't know if because it doesn't. You don't need asset package, right? Then why do you have your Steam friends wondering why you keep... <laughs> yeah, I know. I uh, Literally, at this point, I feel like all of my Steam friends are used to the fact that it um, that I open and close Planet Zoo every, every four minutes. Okay, let's see. Okay, so for some reason, now it's stuck on that. Did my asset package need audio? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't appear so. That's odd. In it is good. My main, to my knowledge, is good. God, this is this is the worst part about modding is it's just really frustrating when you have no idea what 
is causing this. Like as an example, okay, let's let's get rid of my main OBL. This should literally just crash my game the minute I try to load it. Or not. Or it okay, now it's loading the game. What? I don't have a main or an asset package. Why is it doing this? Okay, it better crash at this. It, there's no reason it should not crash. What? Am I just not putting this in my right Planet Zoo folder or something? What's going on here? What? That should literally crash the game. What? Now I'm really confused. We reached the goal earlier. Uh, try manually hex editing. Um, yeah, I guess that's the only thing to left to do or left to try. Um, yeah, so we'll just delete the, I feel confident the init is fine. Um, we'll just do asset package and main one last time. Try to figure this out. I've never had this issue before. Now, granted, I don't know. Has anyone else made a koala mod yet? Because if no one else has made a koala mod, then that could be a reason. Then it should be the game not recognizing the mod at all, right? You'd think. I, I have no idea. Um, that's what's just weird. <laughs> like, I wish I could be like, oh yeah, this is the reason, but I have no clue. So, we'll just go down. So, content, or, uh, Koala becomes T-Kang. Content 3 becomes Tree Kang. AU underscore G becomes Lion. And go all the way down the list of annoyingness. C3CA, C3CL, uh, Park. That's fine. Defa, Ding, East, Fran, Curb. We'll hide everything that says Lion. Red K, tree K is fine. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I have a theory. Okay, so here's my theory, everyone. So, you see how I, it's named Tree Kang, right? There's a lot of files in the game that are called Tree Something that I overwrote. I think I know the issue now. So, as an example, uh, database I want to keep, but scenario I don't. And rail. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. I think I know the issue. Hi, I'm from Italy, and I'm wondering if you would translate the mods to Italian. So we were discussing this the other day. So I do speak Italian. I don't know if I want to work on the translation. Well, actually, I don't want to say I speak Italian. I'm not the best at... Non parlo italiano e sto così così. I'm not the best. But, um... I do write and read Italian quite well. So I probably could do the translation for the lock files. I just don't know if I want to. <laughs> uh, that's that's kind of uh, like that's sort of where I'm at. Um, so I'll have to see if if someone would like to volunteer to translate my files into Italian, that would be wonderful. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be the the thing. Uh, my main wolf does have a, an awful lot of languages currently available, so that is going to be. Definitely a thing. 
So maybe it's showing up in your blood. No, that's not how it works, but, uh, you know. Uh, sort of idea. Uh, I only play it for the music. Sure, Leaf. Wink. It's fine. I bought the game, too. You're good. I haven't played it too much, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, asset package. All right. I think I I think I know what I did. So so I think it is an issue of my asset package. I can help you with Portuguese. I think I already have Portuguese for my Mand Wolf, but if you'd like to help with other mods in the future, that'd be great. Um, I think what like Give me a sec. We'll do a little field trip for a second while I just try to remember. Every language I have for my main wolf. So for my, I have Danish, Dutch, French, Portuguese, uh, both types of Chinese. Uh, so Taiwanese and uh, Mandarin, and then I have Spanish covered as well as Swedish. So what I need is, um, I believe, if we check, I need uh, Czech. If anyone knows how to speak Czech, uh, let me know. Um, German. Hungarian and Italian, Japanese and Korean, Norwegian, and Polish and Russian. Every other language I have right now. But if you guys want... No, I did, Dill. Uh, I, th I think it was San that sent it to me. They're finally getting a, a outdoor gorilla habitat at Franklin Park. So, I was thinking of maybe going there this weekend. Julie and I are debating it. We know coronavirus is a thing, but we do want to go up to Boston. Because we want to go to the Museum of Science, and we want to... I want to at least go to Franklin Park. So, I've been wanting to see that pygmy hippo for months now. So, um, I don't know. We're going to try. I think Saturday sold out, so we'd have to go Sunday, but we'll have to see. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to um, uh, uh, help out with the Italian translation, uh, just DM me on Twitter. Um, and I, or uh, on Discord, I mean, or Twitter if you really want it. But uh, DM me on Discord, and uh, I'll send you the main wolf files, and you can uh, translate that for me. So, uh, uh, bene grazie. That'd be, that'd, that'd be wonderful. Uh, uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I think I... Okay, so if we do this, koala. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Now I, God, I'm I'm messing up everything here. Uh, Lua's. So before I I'm because I think I messed up the Lua's last time, so I'm just gonna redo the Lua's really quick. But if we drop these in, uh, we can get rid of all the bin files and all the meta files, and then we're just gonna go down the list and. Uh, do these again because this shouldn't take too long so we're just gonna do that we're gonna go into here we're gonna delete all of you uh, delete all of you Um, all right, for you, we need to delete everything up until here. I can't believe you guys are trying to stick around this long, though. Like, <laughs> honestly, I am genuinely surprised. Um, people are interested in the debugging process. Um, because normally it's not fun, I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely not fun... When you're in the in the thick of a problem and you just have no idea what's causing it, um, I think I know the issue though. I I believe it is related to the fact that I labeled this tree king, and I think I know the issue. Or at least if I don't know the issue, I at least know an issue. <laughs> I at least know an issue that definitely would emerge, and that is in the form of 
obviously the uh, Australia pack added a bunch of tree items. And so if I delete the word tree, it also deletes all of my animal files. <laughs> so that would also mean that they, the game does spawn, but it doesn't actually load what I need it to. So, yes. So let's save our main OVL. We're going to open our init, open our main. Koala gets changed to T Kang. We're going to dat edit that. Dat edit. Save it. Main. Open up our init. Open up our main. We're going to change it so everywhere it says content 3, we change it to say tree kang. Edit. Dat edit. Yes. Good. And we'll just load it one last time. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag in all of these files. And we're going to down or uh, drag in these files. Pretty confident now our main would be good. This should be a good main. Asset package, however. So this is my theory, right? I, I know I've kind of explained it, right? But if we do this, right? So if we load up tree, we have tree eucalyptus, tree tropical, etc. So just by me nonchalantly saying, oh yeah, let's just remove the word tree. I was basically overriding everything that I did that was called tree kang. I believe. I, I believe that is my issue. I'm not positive, but I believe that is my issue. So we're going to make sure that we don't do that this time. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to change Koala to Tree Kang. We're going to change Content 3 to... I already messed it up. <laughs> literally, li literally, after like two seconds of saying, hey, I'm, I'm going to do it right this time, I messed it up. But um, luckily I didn't save it. Yeah, Tree Kang was a bad idea. In, in retrospect, I should have named it something like uh, Kang, maybe, because the issue is the Red Kangaroo also would have had an issue. Um, I should have named it something like Matchy's K or something, like, to be honest. Because um, that, that's definitely the issue here. Do trees first. That's not a bad idea. I think I think that would do it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna name Koala. Or yeah, you're probably right. Anything like if I do tree first before I do anything and change that to lion, that'll get rid of any issue I have. So now if I change Koala to T Kang, hash that, change content three to be tree Kang. Yeah, you are right, Leaf. That 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 is my that was the mistake I made. If I now that I I shouldn't have any reference to the word tree other than tree kang in my files. Um, so I believe I'd be good. D E F L M P R S W Blue. I believe cassowary. I, I've done this so many times now I already know what the next thing is. Chow Ding and then enrichment or Eastern. I forgot about that one, but enrichment is next, so EN underscore B. EN underscore E, EN underscore T, EN underscore W, EN rich, like that, yucca, grass, uh, go all the way down. I believe it should be mech after lion. Yep. Mech. Then plan. Uh, red Kang. So red K and then 
Uh, frankly, I need to do Red Kang as well. Because for some reason, they also have that issue. Rock. And am I good? Uh, species, we're just going to quickly go through. T Kang is all set. T Kang is all set. That's all fine. That's all fine. T Kang and thumbnails are good. Oh, we have to do all this stuff. I hate I hate the VM stuff. I don't even know what it's for. Oh, vending machine. That was what it was. So these are all the vending machine files that I have to go through. So I definitely want to say that my favorite um, asset package to go through is either South America or uh, Arctic for sure. <laughs> like so, those are definitely the best of the DLC files to dig through. Okay, I think asset package is good now. So what we want to do quickly is now just dat edit, and then fingers crossed. That was our issue. Koala, change that to T Kang. We're gonna dat edit. Save it. Save it. Yes. Open in it. Open asset package. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth here. Content three to Tree Kang. We're going to dat edit. All right, this is the big moment of truth, everyone. Yes. Okay, now let us load Planet Zoo. If we did everything correctly, we should have a blank animal. Which seems like it would be like, oh, well, that's not what we want. But it would at least show that we at least added to the database a brand new creature. So, fingers crossed, that was my main main issue, was the fact that I just... There we go! Figured it out, everyone! We did it! Awesome! That was my issue. I was dumb. I should have done Tree first before naming it Tree Kang. But now we get to do the fun stuff. So this is actually actually very good for us. So now, now we've done the difficult part. So... Claps, we all did it. Thank you for all, you know, being here with me as we troubleshooted. But Tree Kangaroo is back on course. So let's grab our lock, animal, and UI files. And let's start working on making this actually good. So I can actually delete you guys. I don't need you anymore. So let's do the UI first. So UI is pretty straightforward. So we need five files. Tree Kang. Tree Kang. Tree Kang. And one last Tree Kang. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate you. <laughs> Giving me that little dono as a... You did a good job, buddy. <laughs> I do appreciate it though. Tree Kang. Tree Kang. Tree Kang. And one last job we have to do Zipedia maps. Tree Kang. There we go. All right. So let's do the UI. So. Um, right now I'm just going to leave it at the koala. We'll do that last technically, just getting the actual photos in and stuff, of course. Um, just because for that, I would need to go in and get some screenshots, which maybe we'll do on stream. I don't know. Um, I was hoping to definitely do that on stream. Now it's a bit up in the air just because we are, um, obviously a little bit behind schedule. Uh, now that we had that little hiccup for the last... God knows how long. <laughs> um, we'll do the header. Zoopedia. Let's 
Save that. Textures, Wikipedia. Open up our thumbnails. So we should have six koala files. So we'll do exclude search, koala, not kaula, koala, and delete literally everything else. And we should be left with six files. Correct? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, did that all correct. God, that's so relieving. <laughs> the fact that like we've been struggling for the longest time. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, Leaf, that explains it. Yeah, so you did the Rocky Mountain, Mountain Elk and replaced the word rock. And I did the same thing. I did the tree kangaroo and replaced the word tree. That's a just... It, it's a really stupid little thing, but that's what I'm talking about. It's so easy to just have, like, a bug like that that just halts your entire progress. So just, you know, oh, yeah, let, like... Because as an example, right? Uh, let's say you were making a uh, eastern white rhinoceros, as an example, right? And so you're using... Uh, and you type in the word east. You're, th you're not thinking anything of it. But when you replace that eastern blue tongue skink or lizard, boom, now your entire rhino mod is just wiped out. So, like, it's really that easy to, like, just mess up, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, thank God we were able to, uh, figure that one out, because I would, I would have been banging my head this entire time. So, now, we can get to, like I said, the fun part, which is just doing the lock and the UI, and, of course, the, adding the animals in, you know, that's always fun as well. Open our thumbnails, which good news, like I said, from here on out, smooth sailing. The rest is actually super, super easy, barely an inconvenience. Save this last file. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty confident I did the UI right, so... Next time we go in game, we'll have um, UI. So let's do localized. Um, we're just gonna do United States for now. Like I said, uh, if anyone would like, um, what's it called? Localized English, United States. If anyone would like to translate this or volunteer your bilingualness, uh, you know, that would be great. So here we go. So I can delete most things here. So we'll just go down the list. I don't need... Oh, I forgot why I hated using Dingo or uh, Australia. For some reason, it insists that everyone wants to have... So all the animal variation files in the game um, are in this folder, are in Australia for some reason. So if you're ever wondering where, why all of our animals, except for Australian animals, don't have animal variation, it's because here, here's your thing. If you wanted uh, uh, Leaf's fox to have uh, a variation thing, you'd have to, he'd have to give you a second mod that was literally a blank lock file with this file that changes the Arctic wolf. It's like that dumb. Um, but it is doable. Uh, so we're going to go way, way down. All the way to Koala, essentially. Uh, Dingo is fine. Family name I don't care about. Koala. Here we go. Delete all of this. <laughs> So, for ours, we're actually going to have... The koalas will actually have um, colored morph data. So, that's kind of a nice feature. Give it a sec. It's got to delete a lot of files. I could translate it into German. Like I said, if you, if you would like, uh, that'd be great. We're going to be basically doing, you know, the whole thing live. So, if you want to get a, a jump start, uh, you definitely can. Just follow along as I... Uh, do all of my files. Um, 
This is all fine. That's all fine. Research, salt water. Get rid of all the flexi color stuff. All of that. I don't need any of your tags. All right. So we're going to go to Zoopedia. So Zoopedia is where the majority of your text files are going to be located. <laughs> I can into check. I'm a comedian genius. Um, so anywhere where it says Eastern. So here's like a, a thing where I'd want to. I'm literally going to highlight Eastern blue just to be safe. Just because sometimes stuff like that um, is an issue. So red kangaroo, we're going to delete everything. Uh, dingo, same thing. We're going to delete everything that says dingo. And everything that says cassowary, we're going to delete. What we should be left with is a whole bunch of koala files. Uh, and we need one family, one genus. So if we look up family, we only need... Uh, what is the... What's the family again? Give me a sec. We just had that. So the family is the macro whatever. So we want this one. The others we can delete. The order is, I believe it's the Dipro, right? If I'm not mistaken. Dipro, yep. So we want to delete the other orders and the genus. Uh, it doesn't matter, so we're just going to delete the other. So now... So now we should be left with exclusively uh, koala files. So we're going to save our lock really quick. So we're going to go to UI. Nope. We're going to go to localized English United States lock. Save it. Now we're going to open up our init really quick. Open up our lock again. And now we're going to hash everything that says koala to say tree kang or t kang. And everything that says, well, I guess in our case, it's just we're looking for that order. So order, uh, or uh, sorry, the genus. So where it says Tiliqua, we're going to name it whatever this genus is, Dentra, whatever. And we're going to save it. And the last thing we have to do is now just drag out all of our lock files into a folder and edit them. So this is where the fun part comes in. So if you guys want to uh, get a jump start on helping me out with this mod, find any fun facts that you think would be good. Uh, I want you to tag it like fun fact colon so that I can find them easy. And uh, just find me some fun facts related to the uh, Matchy's Tree Kangaroo. If you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. And who knows, you know, if you, if you do it well, you can, you know, get your fun fact in the game, which is um, really cool. So there you go. So you'd be doing me a favor and you'd be, uh, you know, creating some kind of fun fact there. Uh, so give me a sec. Let's add all of our lock files. All right. Uh, tree kangaroos can leap distant. There you go. Thank you, Leaf. You made the first fun fact. There you go. Boom. Yeah, there's four fun facts left. Use them wisely. Matchies tree kangaroo. Matchies tree kangaroos. I am going to be that type of person. Uh, albino. No, I'm not even going to include it. Uh, what do I want to call the colorization? I guess uh, brown back white yellowish white underbelly soft brown uh, soft fur with brown back yeah, yeah. I think that's fine I'm just going to use this as the 
kind of de facto colorization uh, for all of them. So they're going to do brown gray. Because uh, I don't actually think there's going to be all that much color variation. Um, PC? What? I don't know what PC means, but we're just going to go with it. Um, tree kangaroos are neither trees nor kangaroos. Uh, uh, Wiseful Anthony Gamer. I, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that on, that'll, that'll go in fun facts too. If, if someone comes up with a better one, um, we'll, uh, maybe swap that one out. Cause that's kind of, that it might already, uh, oh wait, what? Oh, it didn't like, what did it like? What the hell? What did you send me? Matt cheese tree kangaroos live in the mountainous uh, rain forests at elevations of between 1,000 and 3,000 meters. Okay, for some reason it wasn't liking, I guess, me copying and pasting that message for some reason. Um, okay, I, I kind of like this. I, I, I do kind of like silver foxes, like, you know, they're kind of clumsy on the ground. That's kind of funny. Um, uh, okay, um, this is, that's a fun fact. I like this one. It was named after the creator. And we have one more, but like I said, keep them coming, because if I like yours better than someone else's. Curly whorls on the tree kangaroo's back for let water run right off. Oh, that is that is a fun fact. I like that one. It's a weird way of wording it, but like water off a duck's back. Yeah, okay. There we go. So, like I said, uh, yeah, so uh, yours is very similar to uh, the one Silver Fox had. So yeah, I'm fine with uh, that for sure. So, here we go. So, Life expectancy. So, tree kangaroo. I believe they live quite long. Um, the life expectancy is about 20 years. Yeah, I, I, I do think I remember that. Because Roger Williams, I think, has the world's oldest tree kangaroo, believe it or not. Because I believe their male might have recently died or is maybe still even alive I, I forget but they're um they do live quite a long time uh length they are 26 inches long so i guess we'll do maybe 32 inches long no maybe not that many but we'll do 28 28 inches long and I'll do that for both male and female. Average weight. So the weight of a tree kangaroo is uh, 16 pounds. So they do weigh more than koalas. So 16 pounds. But like I said, in the actual game files, changing the mass of them wouldn't really change anything. They would basically just... It would be weird. Okay, continents. Oceania. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna change it to Australasia, if I can. 
and countries we're gonna do Papua New Guinea and I, I guess you said they live in Australia um, New Guinea Island with it yeah so they live in uh, Papua New Guinea and do they live anywhere else or I think these specific tree kangaroos exclusively live in Papua New Guinea if I'm not mistaken Um, so I'm, I'm fine with that. I think, cause I think to my not, yeah, they only live in Papua New Guinea. Um, description. So this is where I like to just copy and paste, um, right off here. <laughs> I, I find it to be the easiest way to do. pretty much everything so there you go so uh, that's all fine that's all fine just quickly scanning for any weird characters um, dominance same thing family that's fine. The fun facts are fine. Dendrolagus. That. Mating type, promiscuous. Order is fine. Reproduction description. So this is the one I always hate to do. Because it's way, way, way too specific. It's way too graphically detailed. Um... But, we have to kind of include it, so... Here it is, here's the reproductive description. It's really detailed for some reason. Like, it's funny, a lot of these things will just have, like, bare bones descriptions for everything, but then for some reason go all in on how they reproduce. Um... And like I said, anyone who's making new species out there, Wikipedia is your best friend. Please just use Wikipedia. Don't actually try to type. You can if you really want. It just it takes way, way longer. Um, and for the most part, you're not going to get any benefit compared to literally doing what I'm doing, where you're just copying and pasting stuff off Wikipedia. Um, sexual maturity... Uh... Um, I don't know if it specifies tree kangaroo sexual maturity age, uh, two years old. So there you go. Two years old. Uh, social need description. So this is basically the last copy and paste. Usually they have some sort of description about their, um, yeah, here you go. Um, so, here's the thing. So, the, the one about the German scientist who named it, as well as the um, quote about the mountainous rainforest, if we could find two other fun facts that aren't related to those, that'd be awesome. So, if someone could try to do that uh, for me, I'd really appreciate it. So we're trying to replace fun fact number two. So your fun fact here. And uh, was it number four? Yep. Your fun fact here. So we need two more fun facts if everyone's okay. But uh, see you later, Dynomation. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate you. Tree kangaroo fun facts. What do we got? Uh, I assume this is where, uh, <laughs> this is a fun one. Their, uh, natural enemies are pythons and wild dogs. Um. So, let's see. 
I kind of like this one. I actually do like this one describing the... Um, the the predators. Uh, they're polyamorous. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can find another one. Uh, San Diego Zoo, what do you got for me? This is an adorable picture, though. I'm not going to lie. This is really adorable. Uh, yeah, they have a thing called a joey. That makes sense. <laughs> this is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, this isn't bad either. I kind of like this one. That it help, its tail helps it balance. So, unless someone can, uh... Yeah, so I think mine, the last two that I filled out might be better. Because the other ones, like I said, are just kind of already in the description. But, that being said, our lock file is also done. So we can kind of uh, save this up. So, let's quickly... Actually, you know what? We're going to be cocky. I shouldn't be cocky, I always mess up. But we're going to be cocky, so I'm going to actually do the animals while I'm at it. So we're going to delete that folder. We're going to get rid of dogs and stuff. And this is going to be the T-Kang folder. T-Kang. And we're going to just do all of it at the same time. We're just going to do literally everything all at once. So we're going to do male, female, juvenile, and then uh, we did the lock. So the last thing we will have to do, of course, is just getting the um, thumbnails and the Zoopedia image. So, And then I can actually get this uploaded. So that'll probably be how I end today's stream. Provided we don't run into any more hiccups, I will just probably upload it live and you guys can download it. So that would be fun. All right. So with the lock all set, let's go to animals, marsupials. We'll do the female first. And all I have to do is change everything that says koala to T-Kang. And we'll save it. And... We'll just quickly just kind of loop back around because we'll just do all of them. We'll do juvenile next. Everything that says koala, we change to T-Kang. And finally, we just have to do the uh, the male. So male, we change you to say T-Kang and we'll save you. And now we also just have to do species dat edit all of them. So. We'll go back up to female, and where it says koala, we change it to say T Kang. Species dat edit. Give that a second. Give it a second. Good. We'll save up our female. So female should spawn in just fine now. And if we spawn in our juvenile, we'll do the exact same process. Species dat edit. File save. Juvenile. Yes. And finally, we have to do the mail, which again, very, very simple. Go in here. We hit species dat edit. And we should be good. So provided I did everything correct, we should be able to load the game. It'll have a koala logo, but it'll say Matchy's Tree Kangaroo. It'll have our fun facts, our Zoopedia, and we should be able to spawn in some tree kangaroos. So that'll be awesome. Here we go.
So let's check it out. So I can already basically tell everything seems fine. So if we go down to M, we should have... Oh, that's interesting. So I must have messed up my stuff for that. So at least my thumbnails are messed up. My UI just seems to be messed up in general. So maybe I did mess that up. Well, my log files seem to be fine. I don't know why they're just staying still. Unable to be moved. Okay, what the hell's up with this? Are these messed up? They seem messed up. Something seems off. The lock is definitely good, though. Our fun facts are good. I actually have to change some of these icons on fact 2 and 5. Uh, that's all fine. 2 and 5, okay. It doesn't want to move, though. That's interesting. Alright. So... Might have been a bit cocky, because they don't want to move. What I'm wondering is why the UI doesn't want to display. So if I go into UI, textures, Chi Kang. Okay. So, let's see. It might be an asset package issue. T Kang. T Kang. Take that in. Um, T Kang, T Kang. Huh. That's odd. So, all of that should be fine, to my knowledge. Um, let's just try to da edit it really quick. And we'll do content three to tree king. I'm just curious here. Because I don't, like, there's two little bugs that I'm kind of wondering what's up with them. A, the animal spawns in, but it doesn't want to move, which is weird. And the other is that my UI isn't showing up. Now, my UI should be showing up. It definitely seems like it might be an asset package issue. Always little, little issues here. All right. I'll just skip ahead. Matt, she's tree kangaroo. Okay, there we go. So, so by that editing, we got our UI. So the UI is good now. So, so that's good. We'll just try to spawn the one in it then. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't want to move. Please move. Please allow me to move you. Because why won't it let me drop them? That's the weird part. It's almost like it can't actually navigate or anything. So if I click on you, click on, I'm trying to click on one of them. Pause. Stop. Stop it. Yeah, why won't it let me... 
It won't even let me, like, click the traversable area for some reason. That's weird. That's really weird. So it's doing the idle animation and, like, the little fidgets and stuff. It's just not actually moving, which is very bizarre. Maybe it needs a treat? Nah. Maybe. It shouldn't, though. I'm just wondering if I, like, accidentally changed some weird setting or something. Because this is what's weird about it, is it literally, like, won't let me move the animal. Which, that I've never had as an issue before. Hmm. That is odd. Does it reference any other animals in the files like a lemur? You know it might. I didn't actually check that. You might be right though, Leaf. Animals, marsupial. We'll just check that. Because you might be totally right. Um... Nope. Seems to, uh, seems to exclusively, uh, oh wait, I had filter on. Um, tree king, the, like, the koala. Which, speaking of, let's just quickly, at minimum, just replace these little icons. I could frankly use the male and female as the exact same, um, thing, reference point, I guess, for the photos. I want to get it in the light, though. That's the big thing. So I need it to spin around. Spin around. Um, I'd like it to look a little less tired. Okay. Um, can you look at... Can you look the other way, though? The sun's kind of aiming down this way. I'd really like you to... There we go. So, like, if I do, like... Something like that, maybe? I don't know. What does everyone think? Would this be a fine pose, do you think? Oh, God, I have so many messages. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just joined. Welcome to the stream. We're working on the tree kangaroo. Um, have it mostly done. We're just working on the thumbnails and stuff. So, let's see. Hold on. Um, I, I, I want to try to... See, I, I'll take this photo for now. Uh, and then I want to try to see if I can get it slightly... With its eyes open a little bit more. Not closed a bit. There we go. Hold on. Okay, stop closing your eyes. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. That actually might be cuter. I actually like that one a bit more. So we'll call this TK1, and this will be our TK2. Save as TK2. And I guess this could be TK3 as an option. TK3. And then, if possible, I'd like them to just kind of at least have these two have a baby. And then you can kind of see what the baby looks like and stuff. Um... So we'll do this. So hopefully they have a baby. You just watch them play around for a bit. Because uh, maybe this is just me. I would like their profile picture, if possible, to be them sitting in a tree. And I want the animation where the baby looks up at the mother. 
Um, it's going to be a difficult um, thing to pull off, but I hope I can. So, crossed, I can get that. I'm just going to remove a bunch of the grass around. And once I get the... Because right now I'm just doing the thumbnail and stuff. But, uh... Zoopedia, I'll try to keep my eyes peeled for, like, what I want out of that. Because I don't want it to be... Again, this is a thing. This is, like, a personal preference. I don't want it to be, like, an exact copy of this. So I don't just want it, like, hanging out in a tree. Um... So, I want to see what I can do to make it the best I can. I mean, this isn't terrible. Like, it's just, the only thing is, like I said, I just don't want it to be too similar to the koala. Like, that's very identifiable as, oh, it's the exact same koala animation. Um... Let's see, hold on. Why are they all asleep? Oh yeah, it's because I forgot about that. Koalas like sleep all day. How many can we fit in a tree at once? Oh, I didn't even notice that was a, that that's like a feature though, that they like poop out of the trees. Could you try to give one uh, can I give you one sample thumbnail? Um, if you want, like I said, you could try to like DM me on, um, what's it called? Discord or something. Send it over. So I could do this. This is a little, little bit of a weird idea, but, or maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because the other issue I have is, like, the tree just doesn't look as high quality as I'd like. Like, I guess, like, most of us don't care because if you place that on Acacia, it's usually from this angle. But if you, like, get up to the nitty-gritty, it's, like, four polygons. So. <laughs> Here they go. Look at that army. Look at the tree kangaroos move. I don't like that they're literally all, like, in a single file formation. Like, doing the exact same animations. To the tree we go. They're all literally gonna just one after the other. Oh, God. Look at them go. Oh, God, it's like a weird tree kangaroo centipede. That's so weird looking. Oh, God. And they're clipping through the tree. Oh, good. that one flipped upside down. What the hell? Jeez. Are they more arboreal than koalas? I actually believe they are. Um. Oh, God. <laughs> I am kind of wondering if I want, like, a photo kind of like that or something, where it's, like, climbing down the tree. Uh, can you make the climbing animals want to spend more time climbing? Yeah, we could do that. I mean, that is always an option. Like, I could always make it so that, like, you know, like, uh, monkeys and koalas and stuff only want to hang out in trees. That is a definite issue, but, um... I just want one of them to mate. There we go. So watch this. Hold on. We're just going to follow around the female if we can. Because I, I love this aspect of the tree kangaroo. The ba You want to talk about cute. Wait until we see a baby. Look at that little thing. Look at him. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Like, this is sort of what I wanted out of a screen. Something like this. 
Because I think this is just adorable looking. And usually, like, I don't think any that many Zookedias have pictures of the babies, but I definitely think the tree kangaroo is one that um, looks really, really cute. So, fingers crossed, if I get the animation right, I'm going to try to get it so that... I, I, have a, I have a very particular animation in mind that I'm hoping to get on in a screenshot. And I'm going to literally uh, freeze frame it at that when it actually gets to that point. Um, everyone out of the tree. <laughs> everyone get out of the tree. We're going to... Because what we're going to do is basically wait for that animation. And then I'm going to build the entire environment around that um, that baby. Like, it that screenshot. Because I only really have one shot to do it. I mean... I mean, hypothetically, I don't. You know, I could obviously wait around a bit but also this is like i will say the koala is super super high quality in this regard um the uh the pouch actually does get bigger the longer they're pregnant so when they're first pregnant they don't really have that big of a pouch but the longer they get uh pregnant the bigger the pouch gets until they're born so it's actually kind of like a really dynamic system um that I feel like a lot of people don't really, like, know. They were like, oh, yeah, the, here's the baby koala. And it's cute at first, but, like, um, they put a lot of effort into, like, these birthing animations and stuff. Um, far more than I, I think they would for most things. Which is funny, because, like, if they put all the effort in for the marsupials to give birth in this way out of the pouch, I am sort of surprised that they didn't do egg hatching or something for stuff like the cassowary or the ostrich or the penguin. Um... Because if they did eggs, that would also be... I understand why, from a gameplay perspective, why they didn't go with eggs, but um, it's definitely not the worst thing. Oh, I have weather on. That's why I was like, why is it looking like kind of sickly? It's because of the weather. And I do wish the tail didn't clip, but, you know, that's just... That's neither here nor there. It's kind of the, one of the things that we have to sort of deal with. So, we're almost... So, here's what I'm going to do. Just so that I can have a second shot at... Um, watching the baby be born. I'm going to save the game in its current state. And uh, just hope for the best. Because if I just orient it... In the sunlight, right? It should give birth in the sun. So, okay. Here, here, here's the moment of truth. Are we ready for this? We need it to be on uh, the slowest speed. Here we go. Okay. So it should look up at it, at the mother. And that's what I'm, I'm hoping for here. Any second now, it should look up at the mother. And we need to get that screenshot. Come on. Just one more. Any second now. Come on. Don't fall asleep. Here we go, please. I actually might need to get up first and then give birth. It, it might have to get up and then sit down again. I'm not positive, though. All right, let's see. Yeah, because watch it. It'll probably get up and then sit down again. Watch this. Hold on. Sit down. Turn. No, don't turn around. Don't turn around. I liked, I liked the sun. No. No. I liked you in the sunlight. Here we go. You're good there. I give you permission to give birth in this position now. No, don't turn around. No, you look really gross in that. Like, when it's not in the sunlight, it just gets this really gross little, like, haze. Okay, come on. Please give birth. Don't turn around. Just sit down and give birth. Are you kidding? Stop turning around. 
I'm just hoping. Okay, I maybe I could work with this. I could work with this. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Are we ready for this? Any minute now. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So if I get like a nice screenshot like that, right? And so now, let's mess with the lighting if I can. Uh, that kind of just looks like a panda. That's the issue. Um, I want to test something. Can I... <laughs> I'm going to try to fake it being on a, a branch, if possible. Yes, awesome. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Check this out. Hold on. So, here we have it. Oh, there, there's literally the baby. Oh, that maybe that doesn't work. Yeah, that won't work, will it? Yeah, it doesn't like that. Never mind. Yeah, so never mind. We won't do that instead. We'll do something else. Um, at first, if it was just the mother, it'd be fine. It's just the baby would kind of go away. But we might be able to, if I'm clever, get around that. This is going to be, like, next level, like, unnecessary editing and stuff. So let's see. Hold on. So we'll try to do maybe, like, this, give or take. Okay. So it still likes that. So that's good. So didn't like that. At what point does it is it fine with it? Did we lose the baby? I think we might have lost the baby now. I think I messed it up. I got too greedy. No. Come on. Please come back. I think I might have messed it up. Nope. There we go. Hold on. Okay. This is tough. This is very, very tough to do. To get it to look like it's on a branch when it's not. So we're going to do faux branch, make it vaguely brown. I'm trying to use the PK controls for some reason. All right. So here we go. So this is going to be tough, but I feel confident I can do this. If I'm just if I'm just patient and spend enough time, I will get this shot correct. Yes. Just move it ever so slightly. Because I want it so that the tail would maybe poke through, but the legs wouldn't. I don't know if that's even possible, though. Because here we go. Like, if I do something like this, it could maybe work. Like, sink it into the ground, essentially. Alright.
I think I did it finally. There we go. This is manipulating the game to your advantage at the max. Whatever Palsley does or whatever with the water isn't anything on me trying to get this good screenshot. <laughs> God, this is just insane what I'm doing just to get this shot right. So now I could literally just kind of flatten this entire area. Change this so that it's like maybe in the background. Tell me this isn't the most crazy thing. All right. Uh, I know I know this is a bit boring now. Because now I am literally just stressing about trying to get the actual um, shot right. But like I said, if I feel... If, if I get this, it'll look really, really good. But I will probably be ending the stream kind of soon as is. I do want to get this shot before it's over. Let's get rid of the barrier. Because this is going to be the big deciding factor here. What we sort of want is just a really deep... We are getting this shot. What other kind of tropical plants are there that I can maybe fill out the area with? Because I don't want to just exclusively use Brazil nuts. Uh, eucalyptus, that could be a useful one for sure. Uh, I think I might need faux rocks too, to be honest, to kind of cover up the cliffside. How do you, how do you spell faux? It is F-A, right? F-A-U, yeah. All right, this is when you know I'm just going like way too crazy. When I'm literally like, yeah, let's just make some custom cliff faces real quick, you know, as you do. There we go, just gotta do something like that and then we are going to need a lot of these. And hopefully, if things go well, I can just copy and paste this. But unfortunately, things really haven't been going our way this stream, so... Alright. There's just kind of like our little mock cliff barrier type thing. So if I now just copy it a whole bunch. We will end with our... This is where I really w w wish Planet Zoo had PK's rocks. Because their rocks... Like, doing what I want to do right now is would be so much easier. Like, just getting like something like this and it doesn't really look all that good, is where PK shines over Planet Zoo by a long shot. Is The rock work is way easier in that game. Um, what if I do this? 
this is another idea I had. Just literally as much space as humanly possible to where like it just blends into the background, essentially. Because if I can't get it to look good that way, I could just literally just try to go as far away as possible. Um, let's see. Maybe do something like this. Because the background could maybe be blurred out anyway. Go into Ansel really quick if I can. Is it not going to let me? No, it doesn't want to let me. Whatever. We'll do this the old fashioned way. Alright. We're going to take a few versions of this. Actually, one one last thing I want to do. This is just like me going way too crazy. But if I do this, we can add a little stream, essentially. There we go. And then I could add some sand or something. some of the jungle foliage and stuff, some smaller grass or something, just kind of make it a, look a little bit more lush. Add some of those pebbles to the... Landscape, some of these tree, little bushes and stuff. Um, tropical. We need more jungle stuff. Frontier. I wish. Trust me, I wish. This is another, like, situation where I wish PK could just, you know... Or I could do what I do in PK and just literally just spam down plants and stuff. Because this is all going to get blurred out anyway, like I said. I think we have the shot. Ignore this invisible thing, it might not even be there. Alright, I think that might be our shot. Mess with the lighting one last time. Ooh, no, never mind. This is definitely a shot instead. Save as, and we'll do TK4. Now to watch the birthing animation. Never mind. <laughs> never mind, it just, oh. That's interesting. It just spawns in that. All right. Well, honestly, I might call it there. Um, I'm going to be working on this uh, probably later today, but it's getting late. It's almost 6 o'clock now. We've been streaming for about three hours. So thank you all for watching today's stream. Thank you, Andy, for the last-minute dono. But uh, thank you all for watching. And, uh, yeah, so um, I will be seeing you guys uh at some point, I don't know when, probably next Tuesday. But uh, who knows, I might stream in between. 
But thank you all for watching. Let me thank all of my members, as I always do on all of my streams. Give me one quickie second. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Go to my monetization, memberships. Thank you to uh, Alakani, Sandy, Super Forgettable, Vicky, Andrea, Just That, Jader TV, Beyond Your TV, Leaf Productions, Mark Grilla, and Andy. Thank you all for supporting the channel. You too can support the channel if you become a member yourself or uh, buy some merch. Like I said, I'm working on some more. Um, let me know how. Uh, you guys, you know, uh, what I could do to make the merch more appealing to you guys. And past that, thank you all. Um, yeah, so bye, everyone. <laughs>